High school football teams began practicing this week. The first few days are not fun. It was hot, and let's face it, not all the players show up in shape. So what better way to celebrate the end of the first week's drudgery than with something a little different? That's about the best way to describe what the Denfeld Hunters staged over at Public School Stadium today. Mike Berkland has this report on the Denfeld Olympics. The Olympics, there have to be torchbearers, and of course there has to be music too. The Hunters provided plenty of both. <laughs> the Hunters lined up in a patriotic salute as an alumnus and veteran Olympian lit the torch to officially begin the Games of 88. Denfeld style. The first event was the dummy relay, and when you look at this, sometimes you've got to ask yourself, who's the dummy? The next event was the always eventful and exciting tire toss, and uh, watch out, coach. The individual competition was won by sophomore Doug Bragg, who heaved good old Mr. Goodyear, a record 41 feet, quite an accomplishment, but the egg toss provided most of the oohs and ahs. The players demonstrated their football skills, but sometimes even the best receivers met their match. No diving catches or outstanding grabs could save this egg from a slimy grasp. Seniors Lenny Carlson and Frank Postal proved to have the softest hands. It may not be good enough for Guinness, but the 41-yard heave set the Denfeld record. All in all, a good way to end the long, hard week of practice. Oh, and by the way, this yoke's for you. Mike Berkland, TV6 Sports. Now that's, that's my kind of football practice. What an Olympics day at Denfeld High School in Duluth for kids' sake. If you have them, hug them. Good night. From the Broadcast Center, this has been KDLH News.